visit us on the web at nilfiskyou.com. Nilfisk University is the cleaning equipment industry's most comprehensive web-based training and interactive learning resource. Your degree in success is just a click away at Nilfisk University. Welcome to Nilfisk University, where excellence is attained through active learning. Welcome to the Use and Care lesson for the Advolution series of battery burnishers. In this lesson, we will be covering how to use and properly care for these machines. This course is not intended to be a substitute for the operator's manual that ships with the machine. In fact, it is important that you read, understand, and follow all safety and operating instructions in the manual. Doing so will ensure years of safe operation and optimum performance from your machine. This course is an efficient way to understand the operation of these machines through active learning. After successfully completing this course, you will be able to identify the controls of the machine and explain their functions, explain how to prepare the machine for use, explain how to operate the machine, understand how to properly store the machine, and understand the regular maintenance checks and tasks. This lesson covers four different models of Advolution battery burnishers. The features and use instructions for each are very similar but will vary a bit depending on the model. Keep these differences in mind as we go through the training as some of the illustrations may be slightly different than your machine depending on which model you're using. The four different models can be broken down into models featuring either pad assist or traction drive and then further into two different burnishing path sizes of either 20 or 24 inches. Models with pad assist are propelled with the assistance of the spinning burnishing pad while traverse models are propelled by a motor on the axle between the rear wheels. Each of these models is available with or without an optional active dust control vacuum. A serial plate on the underside of the machine can help you identify your model type and the model and serial number will also come in handy when ordering replacement parts or service. Let's take a look at the machine controls. The traction drive or traverse models have extra controls which will be pointed out as we go through the control functions. First we have the key switch which powers the machine on and off. Next is the battery meter which indicates how much power remains in the battery pack. Next we have the battery charge indicator. This LED will flash green while the machine is plugged in and the battery is charging. The hour meter displays how long the machine has been used for burnishing. On models without traction drive the palm switches turn on the motor to the pad. When either switch is pressed the pad will lower to the floor and begin to spin. On traverse models, pressing either of these buttons will also transport the machine forward. On traverse models, there is a separate switch to control power to the pad so that when this switch is turned off, the palm switches will not turn on the pad motor and can be used solely to control machine transport. The pad power switch is not present on pad assist models. Also only on traverse models, there is a speed control knob which can be used to control the speed of the machine in both forward and reverse. To transport traverse models in reverse, there is a switch located on the back of the control handle. Pressing this switch while also pressing either of the palm switches will move the machine backwards. Now let's learn how to prepare the machine for use. There are four simple steps to prepare the machine for use. First unplug the machine and wrap the cord. Next, check the dust collector bag by removing the cover. Make sure that the dust bag is not full or torn. If it is, the dust collection system will not work properly and the bag should be replaced. Tip the machine backward and check the white felt dust skirt for wear and replace if necessary. Then check the pad for wear and to make sure there is not any debris clinging to the pad that may scratch the floor surface. To remove the pad, hold the pad with one hand and turn the pad retainer in a counterclockwise direction. Remove the pad retainer and pull the pad away from the pad driver grip face. The pad should be cleaned by shaking or beating it and should not be rinsed with water. To install the pad, press the pad against the pad driver grip face, being careful to align the pad to the outer diameter of the pad driver. This is done to avoid vibration while the machine is running. Hold the pad and tighten the pad retainer by turning it in a clockwise direction. The pad retainer should be tightened so that it indents the center of the pad slightly. This is to make it so the retainer does not come into contact with the floor. Before using the burnisher, you should first prepare the area by wet or dry mopping to make sure the surface is clean of any debris that could end up scratching the surface. 
Power on the machine using the key switch. Check the battery meter to ensure there is enough battery power to complete the burnishing task at hand. As mentioned earlier, on models without traction drive the palm buttons power the pad driver. Pressing either palm button will cause the pad to start spinning and will also lower the pad to the floor. To move the machine forwards or backwards, push or pull the machine using the control handle. On traverse models, use the separate pad power switch to turn power to the pad driver on. With the pad power switch turned on, pressing the palm switches will simultaneously drive the machine and also spin and lower the pad to the floor. Releasing the palm switches will stop transport and also stop the pad from spinning and raise it from the floor. Use the speed control knob to adjust traverse speed. To move the machine in reverse, press the reverse button on the back of the control handle while pressing either of the palm buttons. Wipe the machine down after each use and store in a dry location. Charge the battery pack by plugging the charger cord into a wall outlet. The battery should be charged each time the machine is used for one hour or longer or whenever the battery meter reads in the red area. Remove the cover while charging to expose the batteries for ventilation. Advolution burnishers are simple machines, so naturally their maintenance is the same. The main maintenance steps are items we have already covered, which are part of the daily preparation and storage process. Aside from these simple tasks, look for worn components and check the electrical cord for wear. Check the fluid level in the battery cells after charging and add distilled water as needed to bring the fluid level up to the bottom of the filler tubes. Maintenance items are outlined in your operator's manual. Make a copy to keep with your machine. If your company does its own service, make sure these items are captured in any preventive maintenance system you may have. If you do not perform your own service on equipment, your local servicing technician can make sure this maintenance is done. Now let's review what we've discussed during this course. At this point, you should be able to identify the controls of the machine and explain their functions, explain how to prepare the machine for use, explain how to operate the machine, understand how to properly store the machine, and understand the regular maintenance checks and tasks. Visit us on the web at nilfiskyou.com. Nilfisk University is the cleaning equipment industry's most comprehensive web-based training and interactive learning resource. Your degree in success is just a click away at Nilfisk University.